Welcome to You Can Do It. We're going to do a quick video today on VW T5, checking out the diesel particle filter status. Um, so we've got VCDS, we've got that plugged in here. Coming to the computer here. I keep this computer all the time in the car. It's just a small one that'll run, and then I've got it from a cool. mobile plate. Yeah. Let's say this is out of date, but it doesn't matter, it still works. Okay. We press select. Go to engine. Excuse the state of this van, it's in the right mess because we've been down to the beach and everything, it's all covered in sand. But Daddy, we're gonna go to the beach again. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Today. Yeah. We're better than that. Yeah, hopefully. They're my cousins. Yeah, your yeah, cousins, so yeah. Fun. All right, now sometimes, depending on what engine, sometimes you can't go to measuring blocks here. So you have to go down to advanced measuring values. So you, obviously you can go to your fault codes do all that but we're not about that today today we're doing about um dpf we can check if there's a dpf thing in there but there is there's no fault codes in there so i'll do that and go back so now because you can't go to measuring blocks there you have to go to advanced measuring values you go on there then you get down here you get a list of all the different things that it's measuring and we need to just go down here until we get to the particle Yeah, particle filter. So all I'm going to do is click all of the ones that are on here. One. As you see, for those of you, they come up on the left-hand screen. There we are. So we've got those up on the left-hand screen there, so you can see where we are. Uh, tells you all the things you need to know is the time since last generation, uh, ash volume, filter soot mass calculated, filter soot mass measured. Yeah, so that's good. So that's all right. Um, if we needed to do a regeneration, that would be a slightly different process, but we don't need to do that at the moment. So uh, they're all good to go. So what we're going to do now is take this for a bit of a spin. Daddy! And we'll measure this when we get back after a hard spin in sports mode, running at sort of two and a half thousand. Daddy, are we going to move? So see you soon. All right, we've taken the vehicle for a um, half an hour spin in sport mode. And look now what we've got. Particle filter, soot mass calculated 5.98. Particle filter, soot mass measured 5.08. And that was 18 before. So, yeah, look, she's totally down, way down. So that's she's totally fine. So if you're having a bit of a problem with DPF, make sure you go for a long, hard drive in sports mode and get the thing up to temperature and burn off. But um, I think on these engines, it's about 40. Once you get sort of about 40, it gets a bit hairy, but um, it's nowhere near that at the moment. So we're actually fine. So there's no fault. So there's nothing needs to do more. So I can now just switch this all off and disconnect the cable and put it behind the seat again. Hope this video has helped someone who's got, a, uh, who's just checking up on their DPF to see the state of it. Um, you can get away with most problems if the light comes on by dropping it into sport mode and taking it out and getting it hot and running it hard. And that will cause an auto regeneration and uh, clean the thing up. Um, obviously, if that doesn't work, then you need to do a force regeneration, which is a, as another video. But uh, anyway, hope this video has helped. You can do it. And if you've got any comments, send me and I'll try and reply. You can do it.